Hi everyone, welcome to this playlist of mathematics videos dedicated to the correction of the Moroccan baccalaureate exam June 2017. This is exercise number three and it is about complex numbers. For more profit, Pause the video, do the exercise, and then compare with the proposed solutions. For the first question 1a, just develop and simplify the product 1 plus i times a while using i squared equals minus 1. Then you get the given complex number b. Question 1b. We know how to easily obtain the trigonometric form of the two usual complex numbers 1 plus i and square root 3 plus i. We know also from the previous question that the complex number b is the product of 1 plus i and square root 3 plus i. Thus we can deduce the modulus of b and the argument of b through the properties of the modulus and the argument of a product of two complex numbers. Question 1c. Complex number b is already written in its algebraic form from data and we can also obtain its geometric form using the previous question. We have to compare the real parts of the two forms in order to obtain the asked value of cosine 5 pi over 12. Let's move to the question 2, sub-question A. If we calculate the product of the two complex numbers i and a, we get easily the given complex number c. Thusly, we could obtain the geometric form of zc minus zo over za minus zo using the modulus property of a quotient and the relation between modulus and distance we get distance oc over distance oa equals 1 so distance oc equals distance oa Measurements of the oriented angle OAOC are linked to the argument of the complex number C-0 over A-0. That's why OAOC is congruent to pi over 2 modulo 2 pi. To solve question 2b, we need to show that vector AB equals vector OC. And this vectorial equality passes through the equality of their affixes ZB minus ZA and ZC minus ZO. So the point B is the image of the point A by the translation with vector OC. Sub-question 2c. In the previous question, we saw that vector EB equals vector OC. So we did use that the quadrilateral EBCO is a parallelogram. From question 2a, we did use that the parallelogram OEBC admits a right angle at the vertex O, and the two sides of this right angle are equal. So we did use that the parallelogram OEBC is a square. Don't forget to see the other videos. See you next.